Hi, first graders. Today you will be writing after you listen to this story that I'm going to read, First Grade Jitters. I borrowed it from school. You can tell because it's got the blue sticker on it. This book is written by Robert Quakenbush and it's illustrated by Yan Neskimbene. Neskimbene. You are going to be responding to this book using either lined paper or your notebook paper. And what I want you to write is three sentences three sentences about either how you feel about being in first grade or how our main character feels about being in first grade. So you need to write three sentences about how you feel first grade or how our character feels about first grade. You can listen to the story first and then do your writing. First grade jitters. Now you know how I feel about book jackets. So I'm going to take this book jacket off. But I wanted you to see the book jacket because the cover of the book does not have the title. So this is First Grade Jitters. First Grade Jitters. Mom says, I have first grade jitters. Dad says, I am cranky and not myself. It's not true. I am the same as always. Look at his face. Looks a little cranky to me. I still watch TV. I still draw pictures. I still play with my soldiers. So what if I don't feel like eating? I just don't feel like eating. There's his face again. Mm. I'm not sure he looks so happy. So what if I hollered and kicked when mom took me to the store to buy new shoes for school? I like my old shoes, that's all. Oh my goodness, he's got a sock half on, he's got shoes everywhere. Looks a little cranky to me. School doesn't worry me. Last year, I had a lot of fun there, playing blocks with Tammy, Kevin, and Jason. I was in kindergarten then. We played with blocks in kindergarten. Well, maybe I do think about first grade a little and wonder what it will be like. Just a little. Things like, will Tammy and Kevin and Jason be there? They've been away all summer. Seems like maybe he's thinking about first grade a little more than he thought. And I wonder what the teacher will be like. They might have to read or spell or maybe do some math. I don't know how to do any of those things. What then? So maybe he's a little worried about what he's gonna do. And what if I can't understand anything the teacher says? She might say, oogly boogly. And when I ask her what that means, she might answer, Munch a chumpa zeglipo. He seems very worried about first grade. Now, I'm scared. I think I'll go to bed and stay there. I'd be scared too. What's the matter, Aiden? Mom asks. Don't you feel well? It's my leg, I tell her. I can't walk. That's too bad, Mom says. I hope it will be better before school starts. I don't think so, I say. What do we think? Can he walk? Probably. Just then, the phone rings. Mom answers it. It's for you, she says. I take the phone. Tammy calling. Where have you been all summer, I ask. At my grandma and grandpa's, answers Tammy. Can I come over and play? Tammy comes over and we play with my blocks. Later, Jason calls. Then Kevin. They come over too. Tammy tells us that she met our teacher today when she was with her mom at the supermarket. Her name is Miss Welsh, says Tammy, and she's nice. 
It's nice that they get to talk to each other about the year. I asked Tammy, did Miss Welsh want to know if you could read and write and do math? Of course not, silly, answers Tammy. She knows I can't do those things. That's why she's going to be teaching us. I'm feeling better inside. I wonder why he's feeling better. I asked Tammy, did Miss Welsh talk in a way that you couldn't understand? Did she say, Muncha, Chumpa, or Ziglapo? No, Tammy shouts laughing. She talks like we do. My dinners are gone. I wonder why he's feeling better. I say, let's play big yellow school bus and I'll be the driver. And we did. That is the end of our book. You need to write three sentences, either how are you feeling for first grade or how was Aiden feeling for first grade? I can't wait to see what you write and be ready to share. Bye.